Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the city crowd clothes on your own meta human. Now, three weeks ago when Unreal Engine 5 came out, I was talking about, you know, trying to figure out a way to steal some clothes from these uh, new meta humans because you all know we still don't have a lot of clothes for the actual metas. So if you go to the free uh, content right here in the tab, and by the way, this is more like a part two tutorial video. If you haven't seen the original video of this, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below. What we're looking for is the city sample crowds right here. And what I really want to do is steal some of these outfits. So I have my project open here from our previous video. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take a look at the city sample crowd once again. I'll go to character and we're going to choose female. And like I showed you previously, you have six different ones. But what we actually want to take a look at are the normal weight clothes because that's what my characters are all kind of made of. And then if I go to meshes, you're going to start seeing some nice clothes. We have some blazers. We got a nice skirt right here, some slacks, and so on and so forth. So the whole point is I'm going to try to steal these clothes and apply it to my custom meta human that I downloaded from Bridge. So if I go to content, meta humans, I have EV here. Now for this to work, you are going to need your meta human to be in undies only. So I'm going to double click EV right here. If you don't know who she is, she was uh, one of my characters in my uh, award-winning short film movies that I made in Real Engine 5. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down right here. And as you can see, she's in her underwear, which is going to work just fine. Now, to actually steal the clothes from the meta humans from the city sample crowd is actually fairly easy. Now, even though the city sample crowd skeleton is named differently, as far as my testing goes, and obviously I didn't do exen extensive tests, as far as my testing goes, it actually works just fine. If I go to character again, and female, we'll go to normal weight, and we'll go to meshes, and I'll double click, say this blazer right here. If you look at the skeleton name, it's SK base, SK underscore base. But if you look at it closely, and you look at the bone names, it's pretty similar to a meta human as far as the body goes, obviously. So to actually use these, um, I'm using the medium, like I said, because if I go to meta humans, EV, and double click EV again, if I go to her body here, you're gonna see that we have a female medium normal weight body, and that's why we're inside that medium folder. Okay, so sponsor time. If you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my how to create a movie in Unreal Engine 5 beginner's edition. Now, I did update this to kind of show you what changed from the newest release of Unreal Engine 5. So, yeah, if you want to support the channel, check this video out right here or this course out. It's about three and a half hours long. Additionally, the motion capture files I used to create this course are actually included in this course alone. So, no, you do not need to buy a body motion capture to follow along. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and open up our Meta Human EV once again. And I'll minimize this for now and go to the viewport here so we can kind of see her. And then what we'll do is go to the content city sample crowd character once again, female, normal weight. And then what I'll do is actually pick this blazer right here, go to torso, and then drag and drop this here. And obviously I could have typed that here, but at least I want to show you that you can see it before dragging and dropping it there as well. And then for some pants, we can just, you know, give her some maybe some slacks or something like that with belt. So if I go to legs now and I click and drag, you're going to see that that's good to go. And now obviously a flip flop is not going to work. So let's go ahead and change that as well to feet. And I believe there is a shoe in here. If I type SHS, I'll click on that sneaker. Obviously it's fugly, but it's okay. You can use your own. I'm just go ahead and choose a sneaker here as well. Now press escape or exit out of it. Now we just stole this whole outfit from the city sample crowd. And as you can see, this outfit looks really nice and it fits well. Now what I'm going to show you right now is sometimes it doesn't work this easy. So what I'll do is I'll change the top now if I go to the torso and I'll pick this scoop neck crop and drag and drop. And what you're gonna see is that in the underwear area right here on the chest area, there's a little bit of clipping happening. And to get rid of this, I had a friend YouTuber of mine, Lee Adams, create as a mask that will only show the wrist. Hide everything else and show just the wrist. And what I'll do is I'll let y'all download that. So big thanks to Lee for letting y'all download it. But I created a mask folder right here and I will just drag and drop this 
wrist only. And I will right click, convert to a regular texture because by default now it's going to a virtual texture and I'll go to 4096, press OK. And now we're going to that body mesh, skeletal mesh, and I will double click this element right here, this material. Then what we'll do is go to hierarchy and we will go to the parent chain of the body and skin. We will click this right here so it's highlighted and then go to blend mode and go to masked. And you guessed it, we're going to drag and drop our mask into the editor and I'll just make this a little bit bigger now so you can see. We'll take the RGB and we're going to slap that into the opacity mask and then press save. Minimize it. And then we're going to go back to our meta human now. EV, drag and drop. So you can see, if I kind of just move her to the light here so we can see her a little bit better. Now we don't see that issue anymore because all we're doing is we're hiding all, we're pretty much hiding everything except the wrist, which is really freaking cool, right? Look at that. That looks great. And if I show you what this is doing, if I go now to the torso and I will go ahead and clear this out, you're going to see what's going on here. We're getting rid of everything else except for the wrist. Now the bones are still there, but it's just the actual texture in the skin's gone, right? And if you want to create more masks, you can do that as well if you want to create it for the legs or feet or whatever. But for majority of the time, this is really all I need as far as stealing clothes from here. So I'm going to go ahead and control Z that and then compile and save. Because what we're going to do right now is actually test out some animation. So I'll close this out. I'll delete this from our previous tutorial. <laughs> She's actually animating, really creepy. So I'll kind of pour her back. She's out of kind of uh, overexposed there for a second. She looks great. And now here is the thing, right? Even though the City Sample Crowd uses the same name skeleton as the meta human based skeleton, they're still a little bit different, right? So if I go to the sequencer right now, add level sequence, whatever is okay. I'll add her here, track sequencer EV. I am not going to be able to use the animations that came with these two right here because they're using the different skeleton than EV here. If I go ahead and show you that real quick again, and I go to the details here, and we're going to click this animation, I'll double click it. If I go to the skeleton, you're going to see that it is rig SK base SK base. Close that. And now if we go to EV now, go to the body and go to the skeletal mesh for EV, you're going to see that we're using the actual meta human base scale. So those are two different named bones. So we're actually going to have to copy some animations from these guys to EV right here. All right, so with that being said, I'll go ahead and delete this here. And if you look at the animations, we're only gonna have the animations that come with the meta human base scale. And we're missing some of the animations that kind of come from these guys right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and where is the W? Sometimes it glitches out and this kind of disappears. You see that I don't see my transform gizmo anymore and my rotation gizmo. When this happens, just go ahead and restart Unreal Engine and then you should get that back. All right, so we are going to cheat this instead of having to actually retarget or create an IK rig. I'm going to try to see if we can just assign the skeleton system from EV to these people right here so we can copy the animations. And to do that, it's fairly easy. If I go to body right now and I'll click this, uh, our, or if I click this glass right here, and I will right click this now, and I'm going to skeleton, assign skeleton, and I'll make this bigger. And what we're looking for is this SK base, all right? And I'll accept this and then press OK. And it's going to tell me it needs to be saved, so that's OK. We'll double click this, save this here, OK? Click that and save. So what that really did was just now, Eevee here has the same exact skeleton as these two individuals right here, the city sample crowd. So you know what that means. Now we should have a lot more animations in the bodies. So if I go track animation, you're gonna see that we're gonna have a lot more here, like the FTU and idle variation. If I go ahead and press control and mouse out, and then kind of make this bigger because the animation is a little bit longer, seven something frames. If I press play now, you're gonna see that she has that animation. So why is this useful? All right, well, let's say you have your own metahumans and you don't necessarily want to use these guys as, say, 
like a background people and you want to use high quality because to be honest these guy right these guys right here are not really that high quality for me so what if you want to use a high quality meta human like eevee but you want to use to close from this city sample crowd well i just showed you how to do that we pretty much just stole the clothes from them and stole their skeleton so that we can use that animation for our meta human so with that being said, that is all I have for y'all today. If you learned something new today, please do like and subscribe in the channel. I am trying to grow this channel so I can create more videos. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.